your brand identity can be a structure of accountability so that you operate at your highest self. Because I cannot show up and be small. I mean, I'm physically small, but I can't show up and be mentally small. I cannot be petty. I cannot put people down. I cannot make fun in a way that hurts. No choice. I don't want to be like that. But every once in a while, you know, our lower self tries to rise up. But what you stand for is what you're going to be known for. It should be a natural way of being for you. So then I certainly, I took that and it created a tagline. I decided to be the guy to call when you're tired of thinking small. And it rhymes. It gives a little giggle, but here's the thing. I'm not going to introduce myself like that. I'm not going to walk up and say, how you doing? I'm the guy to call when you're tired of thinking small. That would be ridiculous. That would be the, the actual, if you opened up the dictionary, that's what you'd see for cheesy. But in all of my marketing, I talk about thinking bigger. I even wrote a book called The Think Big Manifesto. When I sign um, my signature in a book, I write, think bigger about who you are and what you offer the world. Or think big. Or keep thinking big. When somebody says, you've got to go to Michael Port to help you get clients, someone says, why? He goes, he's going to help you think bigger. That's how the message is usually spread. So the clients will spread the message for you if it's in your marketing materials in a way that is organic. And I might say to somebody, well, I do this because I love helping people think bigger. I want them to think bigger about who they are. You know, I say, you think you, th you, think you can't think bigger about you know, who you are and what you offer the world? I say, think again. But you don't use it in a way that's trying to prove anything. We keep going back to this idea that you don't need to prove yourself in the same way that you thought you did. 